The most common thing students say after finishing a hard poem is, I don't get it. They feel stupid, like the poem was trying to do something clever which they obviously missed, and they ask their teacher to provide them with some kind of key, some kind of trick that unlocks the poem and will give them its meaning. The thing is, student, you're not stupid. You haven't missed anything. Most of the time, there isn't anything to get in a poem in this way. Too many people assume a poem is a kind of cryptic crossword, a sort of puzzle that needs to be solved, as if the poet was laying clues which the reader has to solve. Not only does this make poetry seem very annoying and pointless, just a poet showing off how clever he or she is, but it means we very often miss completely what a poem is trying to do. Poems are saying things, but they're not doing it by leading you on a treasure hunt of clues to an eventual one-line meaning that you'll just get. It's more like a string of images that build upon each other, a string of impressions, emotions and ideas. And our job as readers is just to look at those images more carefully and take them for what they are and see what they add up to as a whole. There's usually nothing you've missed in a poem. Just read it more carefully. Let those images speak for themselves.